BZH and Big Zach's house. Tonight we're going to be doing a review of the Lego Avatar set number 75572. This is 572 pieces, priced at $60. This is Jake and Natiri's first Banshee flight. Now, remembering correctly, I haven't seen the second movie yet. This is definitely from the first movie. Uh, we got two of these dragon things here on a platform. And right now the set is on sale through Amazon for I think $53. There'll be Amazon affiliate link below. If you're interested in the set, please support the channel by using our affiliate link. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have a speed build of this set. We're gonna have every single avatar set on the channel. This is the fifth one that we have so far here. So without further ado, we're gonna go over the set. We're gonna go over the box, the manuals, the figs, and I'll let you know if I think this set is worth picking up in general. I think it's worth picking up at 60 bucks or if you should wait for it to go on sale. Let's get this review started. All right, so I won't spend too much time on this, but here is the box. Again, set number 75572, 572 pieces. I like all of these avatar boxes. They look really, really cool. I just like all the bright colors. Two minifigures in this set. Here is the top of the box. It shows you the minifigure. The back of the box, it shows you a couple little ways. Uh, it just shows you the size of the little dragon things. Again, I don't know what they're called, but I assume it, I guess they're actually called banshees, but for me, they're like little dragon things. Uh, it shows you how to put the banshees on the platform and how to place the figures on there. And then just a little scene here. So now I will probably throw this box away because I just have way too many boxes. Now we'll move on to the manuals. All right, so I like to keep the manuals short and sweet in my reviews now. There are three manuals for this set, one for each one of the Banshees, one for the platform. That's all we will say here. I really like the fact that there's three separate manuals. I'm not a big fan of the white in the manuals, but it is what it is. If you wanna go digital, scan manual one. And a really cool part about this is the manuals come in this envelope, which I can certainly appreciate because the manuals are nice and crisp and clean. They're not bent up and creased. So thank you, Lego, for doing this. This is one of my gripes with Lego, not protecting the manuals. Let's move on to the set and the figs. All right, so this set has two minifigures. The first figure is Jake Sully. I really, I really wanted the set mostly for the figures, to be honest with you. Uh, cause I just wanted to have every single avatar figure and he has the longer legs and he has some really cool printing. I just like how they kind of like, if you guys see side to side, it glows. So this is a super cool figure and he must have, in my opinion, I really like the light blue, just all the detail here. He has one facial printing and he has more of the, like the glow in the back here and you see the hair piece there. So Jake Sully is an awesome figure. The second figure in the set, Natiri. I should, I hope that I said the name right. I should probably be able to say the name correctly because I have seen the first movie. But again, you have your avatar figure here with the longer style legs. Really, really cool. And you can see the glow in this one as well. And a great amount of detail in the figure in the torso, in the legs, and the face printing here. So really, really cool figure. And I'll show you the back here. And what I noticed is with all these Avatar sets, I got like three or four of these tails, which go right there in the middle. So it'll be pretty cool to have those. I'm sure that maybe they'll be worth some type of money down the line. And you have the little, you know, glow there on the back too. And it looks like you have it even kind of, no, it's actually it's the glare on the hair. It's just the uh, the light. But really cool figures. And honestly, the, the set is a must-have just for these figures, not discounting how awesome the set is besides the figures. All right, so now we have the set displayed here with the two Banshees on the platform here, and it looks really, really cool. I am a big fan of this set. So this is my fifth Avatar set, and this is my favorite so far. And we have purchased all the other sets, the Avatar sets so far here. I'm super excited to build the... Um, the tree of spirits so that will be a really really cool set to build but so far with my first five sets this one is definitely my favorite it's a great display piece and the banshees look really really cool so now i'm going to take each banshee off and just kind of show you a little bit for each set all right so the first thing i want to feature is the platform and now like normal i'm not a big fan of these extra builds but this is a focal point of the set 
This is what the Banshees sit on, and I just think this looks really, really cool. I think that LEGO has done a great job of getting some of those bright colors. Now, there's not as many bright colors in this set as there are in some of the other ones, but I like the purple here, and it just looks really, really sharp, nice and clean. So this is a cool part of the set, and this is one of the three uh, manuals in the bags. It just looks really, really good, and I think it is nice and sturdy for when you actually put the Banshees on the set. So now we move on to uh, Jake Sully's Banshee. All right, so now we have Jake Sully's Banshee here, and this is just really, really cool. So this is, reminds me of kind of like the Jurassic World sets. You have your, like, your dinosaur face here, and this does open up. His mouth does open up, and Jake sits right here on this platform, and both builds are kind of exactly the same. And they have these, like, I don't even know what to call these. They're like somewhat these like plastic pieces that fit over top of these black studs. And I think they did a really good job. I don't really know how you could have made this for the price point without using those pieces. And it, they just look really, really good. And what I'll say too is I was kind of nervous that these would rip as you put them on. They'd be like <clears throat> kind of fragile. But with the four of these here and four on the other one, they look really, really good. They weren't fragile. They did not rip. So I was really happy that that happened like that. And here you go. Here's the bottom of it. And this is where you put this inside the platform. So overall, I think this looks really, really sharp and I'm super happy to have this. Like again, it reminds me of a dragon or part of like the Jurassic World series. And I think that Lego did a great job of making sure this looks really, really sharp and kind of true to the original movie Avatar. All right, moving on to, again, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, Natiri's Banshee here. And it looks just, you know, a different color, but very similar style to Jake Sully's Banshee. Again, you have these four plastic-ish type pieces. That's what I'm going to call them. And they go right over these studs. And I really like the color combination of this one. I think I actually like this one a little bit more. This, like, dark aqua green, we'll call it, um, with the yellow and the brown. Looks really, really sharp. And the figure goes right here and everything just works very well. So I definitely will have this on display. And then on the bottom here, that like super cool looking green, uh, that's the like true to the Avatar movie having these really, really cool bright colors. So I think Lego did a fantastic job here. And then just like these maroon pieces in the back, like maroon brownish pieces, I think they just, everything just looks really, really cool and sharp on this Banshee as well as the other one. So now we'll wrap up this video and let you guys know if I think this is worth picking up at the regular price point at all or if you wanna wait for it to go on sale. All right, so to wrap up this review of the Lego Avatar set, the set number 75572, Jake and Natiri's first Banshee flight. Again, I think this is, I'm fairly confident this is from the first Avatar movie. Price is 60 bucks. I love this set. This is definitely so far with the five Avatar sets that I've built so far, my favorite of all five. Um, I just really like these Banshees. I kind of called them a dragon multiple times, but they are really cool builds. I like the way they did these like plastic pieces that go over top the studs. The minifigures are awesome. And all in all, I think this set is well worth the $60 price point that it is if it's uh, just a normal real retail price. Now, this set is on sale through Amazon right now for $53, so you get a little bit of a discount. If you're interested, I will have an affiliate link below in the description as well as the pinned comments. If you are new here and you enjoyed my content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have every single Lego avatar set featured on the channel. Speed builds, we're gonna do reviews, and at the very, very end, we have every single set laid out. All the avatar sets are gonna have like one shelf for my display case. So I'm super excited to have that. So thank you all for watching. And please, again, thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate all your support.